say, the remote stops here for two. All aboard the Cartoon Express, the USA Cartoon Express. Traveling east and heading west, it's a great big call at Cartoon Fest. I'm hosting here, if you're waiting for me. It's time for cartoons, right now, right here. Where Tony helps keep things right on track. And famous cartoon stars are riding in back. Stop on board for the daily world. Animals, cartoon, and carnival. Action, adventure, and all the rest on the USA Cartoon Express. Special Mission Force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up. He'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare. Trainees, you've got work to do if you expect to join Cobra's army. Now, 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 me boy. That will never do. Get what? Destroy the Foundation and the rest comes tumbling down. All right, hold it, hold it. Stop. You don't want results. Use tracer ammo like this. Is plastic explosive? Catch! By itself, nothing happens. But if you add a detonating device and set the timer, watch out! To be a ninja warrior, you must have perfect balance. Do as I do. Rise. Try again. That's impossible. We can't do that. Who'd want to? <laughs> you look like a bunch of blooming storks. You want to learn some real tricks? Come with us. This old unused tank will do. Go to it, Buzzer. Gladly, mate. <laughs> Here now, look at Ripper. <coughs> It was a sardine. You've had your fun, lads. My turn now. With our weapons, we dreadnoughts are unbeatable. Anyone can use a weapon, but the ninja is a weapon. Behold! <laughs> Not so tough. Display of the ninja's power, yes, but the dreadnoughts are useless. Their only loyalty is to the gold their sniveling master Zartan pays them. Zartan and the dreadnoughts are far more loyal and valuable to me than you are, Destro. How can you say that, Commander? They are fools. Greetings, Destro. What? But if you're in here, Commander, then who? Very convincing, Zartan. Who plays the fool now, Destro? One day, Zartan, you will push me too far! Enough of this bickering! There are more important things. This is the Worldwide Defense Center. 
Their goal is to end terrorism. I am already well aware of it. Scientists from around the world have gathered to feed all their information about terrorism into the Defense Center's computers. That could threaten Cobra's very existence. Have they finished programming yet? No. They still await the arrival of Dr. Metier of France. We must act now. Zartan, is your plan ready? Of course, Cobra Commander. You'd entrust such a vital mission to him? Stop! We have no time to waste! Go, Zartan, and do not fail Cobra! Bring my car around, please, and hurry! I'm, I'm very late for my conference. Oh, dear. What do you want with me? I do not want you, Dr. Metier. I want your identity. And now, my dear doctor, I must bid you over. Freedom! Stay with me, Freedom. I thought I'd check in with you, Spirit. Has everyone arrived yet? All but one, Lady J. Dr. Metier should arrive soon. The Joes are standing by if you need us. I'll call you again later. Please place your hand on the screen. Thank you, Dr. Metier. Enter. We'll rendezvous inside the building. Please wait while we scan for concealed weapons. Welcome to the Worldwide Defense Center. Emil, good to see you again. Uh, yes, good to see you too. Welcome, Dr. Metier. Have you the tapes in your briefcase? Yes, all the accumulated information about terrorist activities that my country possesses. I turn them over to you. Aha! Caught you! I, I, I beg your pardon? <laughs> Last year, you said you'd never wear a digital watch, and I said you would. Uh, yes, I, I had forgotten. Excuse me, please. I am suspicious too, Freedom. There is something strange about Dr. Metier. Give me the bomb. So, Storm Shadow, still you serve the evil of Cobra. Don't let him sound the alarm. Backup control room. Perfect. In 35 minutes, this defense center will be nothing <laughs> but a smoking crater. We'll be back for more... Wow. Cool tunage! Charm Blow Pop, take one. Action! Fruit flavor candy on the outside.
What's inside every specially marked box of Cap and Friends cereal now? A mini Magic 8-Ball that will answer your questions. And if you find a gold 8-Ball, you win $1,000. Mine. All mine. Spend it any way you want. Where do I start? Many will enter. 100 kids will win $1,000. Any questions? To enter without purchase, write Captain Crunch Mini Magic 8 Ball, Box 82154, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55182. kids drink milk, we like the taste. It's fun. But secretly, kids are drinking milk because it helps us grow bigger. Imagine us on a big, cool body, doing big, cool things, wearing big, cool clothes. Imagine us staying up late. Imagine us driving cars. Everybody knows why kids drink milk. We like the taste, right? Sure we do. But milk does help us get bigger. Imagine us in charge. With more cool tunage. Go, <gasps> ah! ah! <laughs> freedom, get help! Ha! Dear me, I'd better let him out. Your turn, gung-ho, and remember the loser makes dinner. I win. What did you do that for, Lady J? He'll make us eat that homemade Cajun gumbo of his. Yeah, last time we used it to fuel the Sky Strikers. Gumbo builds muscles, right, Doc? Well, it's certainly given you a cast iron stomach. <laughs> Freedom, what's wrong? Spirit must be in trouble. To the defense center, on the double. Go, go! This fighting, or we will both be destroyed. Destroyed? How? <laughs> you had no right to interfere, Zatan. Don't be a fool, Storm Shadow. The bomb is set to go off. Get rid of him. <laughs> Emil, where have you been? Must go. Please remain where you are. We have an emergency situation. That man in the corner. Look. It's Zartan. Now I know we've got trouble. What have you done with Spirit? I'm your prisoner. Take me away. No problem. They got a cell here. No! Take me to the G.I. Joe prison. I demand it. Hmm. You seem awfully eager to go to prison. Yes, that's the strangest demand I've ever heard. What's so interesting about this watch? Yeah! <sighs> It's a countdown. For what? Talk! I've planted a bomb that will destroy the defense center. But you'll never find it in time. 
Gung Ho, take Zartan to the cell. Doc, Rakondo, Stalker, find that bomb. Freedom, go find Spirit. You want to get out of here in one piece? Start talking, creep! You, you can't fool me. You're weaklings. You won't let me die here. Oh, yeah? Well, keep your eye on this. When you change your mind, just holler. So, they have kidnapped you as well, mon ami. Now, where is Zartan? He was in the building when the G.I. Joes arrived. Ugh! That's terrible! Yeah! Who's gonna pay us? Cobra will see that you get your gold. Guard the prisoners! Destro! Storm Shadow! Follow me! Shall I attempt to rescue Zartan? He is so clever! <laughs> Let him escape on his own! Stalker, report. I'm still looking. Doc, come in. Have you found anything? Not yet, Lady J. And there are a lot of hiding places. Ricondo, what's your situation? No luck. I'm going on to the next room. Gung Ho, where are you now? In the kitchen. But there's nothing cooking here. Well, at least the scientists are out of the building. I'm going to check the microfilm room. What will happen? What will happen? They'll kill us. Oi, lads, did you hear that? I sound so scared. Right, then let's cheer him up. First, we make the cell airtight. <laughs> then we give him a bit of laughing gas. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard, it hurts! <laughs> Can't stop! <laughs> what a gas! Roy, they left themselves to death! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, everybody! Whoa! Hot track of late! And hurry back for more cool tunage! <laughs> But be careful, because you never know. Eat it, Ralph. Oh, yeah. You know it's so much fun to eat it, Ralph. Oh, yeah. Watch out, here he comes. Eat it, Ralph. Oh, yeah. Look, it's Jeff Armstrong. He's eating apple jacks. He's cool. We'll see. Oh, look out, it's Denise White. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Hi Denise. Denise. Call me stupid, but if you named it Apple Jack, shouldn't it taste like, well, apple? Stupid. That is why it tastes so good. Well, then, know it all. Why? They just do. Yeah. Kellogg's Apple Jacks is part of this complete breakfast. I don't know what she sees in him. We eat what we like. You know, he is one buff mouse. And by the way, here he comes to save the day. Mighty Mouse on the USA Cartoon Express. The itty bitty spider went up the water spout. <laughs> Down came the rain and Watch the spider out. Yeah. For a new twist on an old favorite, the Itsy Bitsy Spider on USA. Fridays at 6, 5 Central. Let's get back to Cartoon Express, but first, back to back. I hope that tapping is not going to go on all night. You have to expect that when it's windy. Well, it's sure to disturb our guests. 
What a perfect night for kite flying. Watch out for that tree. There must be a way to stop those branches from tapping. I will try using mind control. I've got the kite. Yeah. Something's happening. Help! <laughs> I don't believe it. The tapping stopped. Ah, I've still got it, huh? We're back with more... Wow! Mighty cool tunes! It's no use. Let's grab Zartan and get out of here before the bomb goes off. Uh, give me a few seconds. I'm expecting something. Something besides the explosion, I hope. Oh, tell! Oh, tell! Joy Joes! Get me out of here! Okay, creep, where is it? The backup control room! Third panel from the left! Hurry! Move it! Wait! Take me with you! They'll never make it! I'm doomed! <laughs> <laughs> Get out. If I find you here again, you shall pay dearly. Noble enemies should not be treated in this fashion. That's too late! Impossible. My bombs never fail. There it is. Get it. This is why I should do it. That wrong wire. I wish you hadn't said that. So do I. I don't get it. The timer on this bomb was two minutes slower than Zartan's watch. Oh, that. Uh, I just set Zartan's watch two minutes ahead. I figured his nerve would give out before ours. <laughs> I think Zartan has figured it out. I'd better go check on him. No! Zartan has failed! What did you expect? I want that building destroyed! Go! I can wait no longer. My friends are in danger. But what can you do? They took all your weapons. They did not find this. Spirits of my fathers, guide my hand. Zartan? Where could he? Zartan? Zar Sweet dreams, little man. This will bring the running. Someone's tampering with the power, and Doc hasn't come back. Gung Ho, Rakondo, go check on Doc. Stalker and I will go to the power room. Hurry, Doctor. All right, here we. That was only a warning, Spirit. Turn back. No. again, spirit. We shall meet again. Lucky thing I carry these flares. They won't help you. Fools, I'm over here. You'll never find me in the shadows. We'll see about that. No, don't! Ugh. Lady J? Lady J! If you've hurt her, Zartan... <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope there's enough auxiliary power to give you a big surprise. No! Stop it! Lady J, 
Are you hurt? I'm... I'm all right. He hit me from behind. I hate the sunlight. I hate it. If I had your complexion, so would I. Good work, team. Guess we can finally breathe easy. Hit the deck! It's Cobra! Zartan's gone. Forget him. Let's get those snakes. Tracers like I taught you! Destroy the foundation and the rest comes tumbling down. Cover me! That's what I call the foot and mouth maneuver. Duck! Say your prayers, Yank. Now I lay you down to sleep. Or is he gonna feel dumb when he realizes I pulled his detonator? Well, what a nice bit of fluff you are. This bit of fluff bites. <laughs> At last, a man with good taste. Freedom, how'd you like my share of that gumbo? Drink milk, we like to taste. It's fun. But secretly, kids are drinking milk because it helps us grow bigger. Imagine us all in big, cool bodies, doing big, cool things, wearing big, cool clothes. Imagine us staying up late. Imagine us driving cars. Everybody knows why kids drink milk. We like to taste, right? Sure we do. But milk does help us get bigger. Imagine us in charge. Like these kids, you already know the USA Network Kids Club is your place for fun. USA Kids Club gives you more ways to win the coolest kids contest on cable. Send it in a postcard. Or it's for USA Kids Club. Huh? Kids who watch USA Kids Club can win the coolest trips, prizes, and even cold hard cash. Kids Club members are always eligible for special members only grab bag giveaways of the hottest toys. So if you're not a member yet, snap out of it. Send a postcard with your name, address, phone number, and birth date to USA Network Kids Club, P.O. Box 32798, Detroit, Michigan, 48232. You'll receive a membership card and stickers making you an official member. And keep watching for USA Kids Club on the Cartoon Express. Who knows? 
Someday you may be that kid on TV saying, You want to take yourself like that? What is wrong? to be four ordinary teenagers. Until one day, we met some new friends from out of town. They were called Dinosaucers. My friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space, and joined in their battles against Genghis Rex and the evil Tyrannos. The dinosaurs are leaving, Bossasaur! Well, follow them! Hello, everyone. Great news. It was on TV. A scientist at New York University has discovered a fantastic new source of energy. Hello, if that's true, we can finally help our home planet Reptilon. David, can you lead us to this New York place? No problem. The rest of you mind the store. You never know when Genghis Rex may choose to rear his ugly face. Better keep an eye on these dinosaurs so they don't get into any trouble. Trouble? Them? Seems to me you're the only one who ever gets into trouble around here. Coming, David. You bet. It's Allo and David departing Lava Dome. Roger, Dodger. Terrible dactyl. Excellent. <laughs> what happens next, Master? Very simple. We planted that fake story about a new energy source. Now we've gotten Allo away from his fellow dinosaurs. <laughs> I see. Now, now, now we attack the lava dome. No Lamox. Ouch. Without Allo's leadership, Bronto Thunder becomes an easy target. I'll surprise him with my devolver and turn him into a brainless apatosaurus like his ancestors. <laughs> I get it. We polish them off one by one. <laughs> Correct. For once. Now, put Brachio on red alert. Yes, Master. Tarpets calling Brachio. I'm bored. Why is Allo the only one who gets to go to this New York City place? It sounds like a fun place. Who wants to go there with me? Are you crazy, Bronto Thunder? You'll be disobeying Allo's orders. Uh, Allo never said we couldn't go. And we'll do our sightseeing at night. No one will see us. Don't you ever learn? You'll get us in trouble. Sarah, talk to this Bronto Brain plant eater. Well... Aw, uh, come on, Sarah. How often do you get a chance to show a dinosaur around New York City? Yeah, you're right. It's 
Sounds like terrific fun! Big Apple, here we come! Yum! You're both crazy! Mark my words, disobeying instructions always leads to trouble! Bye, Demetro! Don't worry, I'll keep my eye on Bronto Thunder! Don't wait up! <laughs> TV to top it, Target has departed Lava Dome. Trajectory suggests New York City as destination. <laughs> How easy to trick these brainless dinosaurs. Hey Kylo, have the others join us to intercept Bronto Thunder. Tarpets to Brachio. Scramble! There's a movie about a giant gorilla who climbed up the Empire State Building. Really? Yeah, he sat his human girlfriend on top of it and swatted down enemy planes. What a brilliant battle strategy. This gorilla must have been Earth's greatest general. Uh, no, this was a movie. Of course they would have made a movie about such a hero. <sighs> I'm starting to wish I hadn't brought this up. Hey! I bet we could land on that! Not unless you're a Zeppelin! I never heard of that kind of dinosaur. Uh, but don't worry, I can land on anything! Oh, Bronto Thunder, I don't know if this is such a good idea! Oh, we're gonna get in trouble! No, we won't. Those people love us. Let's go say hi to them! I'm beginning to think Demetra had a point after all! Look, dog! It's an Apatosaurus! A what? Like, wow! You mean the rock group Apatosaurus? Can I have your autograph? Like, I have all your records! Well, sure! There! Tubular, man! Uh, Bronto Thunder, we've got places to be. Right. Bye-bye, everybody! Uh, it must have been some kind of publicity stunt. It was an Apatosaurus, Dad. Sure, son. What nice people! I thought New Yorkers weren't supposed to be friendly. Sometimes they have trouble with people, but I guess dinosaurs do okay. Wow! Look at that! Who's that magnificent lady with the torch? That's the Statue of Liberty. She represents freedom to people all over the world. That's also what we believe in on Reptila. It's what will help us defeat the Tyrannos and save our world. Looks like we'll need to save ourselves first! We've been hit by a titled Ankle Buster! The ship's going down! We're gonna crash! We may be going down, sir, but we won't crash! Not if I can just manage to use the mole bit! Mata Thunder, are you alright? I'm okay. How about you? Fine. But with those Tyrannos out there, I don't know how much longer we'll stay that way. We've been duped. The scientists here didn't know anything about a new energy source. The fake story must have been planted by Genghis Rex. We'll soon see. Allo calling Lava Dome. Come in, please. This is Lava Dome. Demetro at your service. Any Tyranno activity, Demetro? Everybody present and accounted for? Uh, no Tyranno activity reported, but, um, uh, Bronto Thunder sort of went sightseeing in New York City, and he sort of uh, took Sarah with him. What? Knowing Bronto Thunder, he's in for trouble. Demetro, meet us over New York right away. Out. Come on, David, there's no time to lose. Thunder, 
the Tyrannals are all over the place! What are we gonna do? There's only one proven strategy we can use! We climb up this tall statue, and I swat at the Tyranno aircraft! It'll be just the way it was on the Empire State Building for your brilliant Earth General, Gorilla! Uh, I really hope not! Anyway, we won't let them get us without a fight! Here come the Tyrannos! Now you'll get yours, Mammal! Time for me to use my ring to enhance my gymnastics ability! Secret Scout's ring! That gorilla had the right idea! Oh! No! Not bad, big guy, but we can't keep this up forever. I know, and look, here comes someone else! Is it another Tyranno? Wait a minute, that's Aloe Ship! Oh, uh oh, now I'm really in trouble. Curses, it's Aloe! Let's put him out of the way once and for all! We'll see if you have the nerve for it, Rex! Hello to David. Come on, enjoy the fun! But watch out, I've got Rex on my tail! I hear you, Hello! Making a base of action! But not soon enough! Nobody makes a fool out of Rack, yo! I'm dead even with all you! I'm not gonna let David outdo me! No! No! No, please! Please, please, please be a, 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 a nice mammal! But Ankylo's going all to pieces. I'm just not having a good day. Rakio, what in Egg's name are you doing? If I have to take a fall, so the brutal thunder and that runty little memo. Now get out your ankle buster and help me. That's it! A little more! A little more! Just another little shelter! That's it for Brown of Thunder and his pet mammal! Tunage. Look, it's Jeff Armstrong. He's eating apple jacks. He's cool. We'll see. Oh, look out, it's Denise White. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Hi Denise. Denise. Call me stupid, but if you named it Apple Jack, shouldn't it taste like, well, apple? Stupid. That is why it tastes so good. Well then, know it all. Why? They just do. Yeah. Kelly's Apple Jacks is part of his complete breakfast. I don't know what she sees in him. We eat what we like. Cool! Yeah! Throttle, Vinny, Moto, Biker Mice on battle bikes with the firepower to stop the evil Plutarchians. Catch this, Carbuncle! Gets him every time. Get his way, it stages vermin! No way, fist face! <laughs> grease fiddle, grease them! Grease this! Whoa! Biker Mike from Mars, bikes and figures, each sold separately, new from Galoo. Are you gonna sleep all day? I got an idea. Let's get some corn pops. We don't have any. They don't have Kellogg's corn pops? Get sick.
serious. I am. She isn't. Oh, like sweet, crunchy popcorn. I can almost taste it. And I'm not spending my weekend with someone who snores, which I'm going to tell everybody at school if I can't have my pops. Oh. Come on, girls. I bought those corn pops. Want a bowl? Well, sure, if that's what you got. Kellogg's Corn Pop cereal is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. Boring restaurants versus Chuck E. Cheese's. Their games. Chuck E.'s games. Time mom says, let's eat out. Remember, Chuck E. Cheese, please. The restaurant where a kid can be a kid. Introducing Pizza Ranch Salad Dressing. Can you describe its taste? Pizza Ranch, Taco Ranch, Nacho Cheese Ranch, and Super Creamy Ranch. New from Hidden Valley. Don't let static do a job on you. It's not you. Stop embarrassing cling. Bounce leaves clothes virtually static-free. It won't stop you! Bounce stop static before static stops you. Let's get back to Cartoon Express for first... I hope that tapping is not going to go on all night. You have to expect that when it's windy. Well, it's sure to disturb our guests. What a perfect night for kite flying! Watch out for that tree! There must be a way to stop those branches from tapping. I will try using mind control. I've got the kite. Yeah. Something's happening. Help! <laughs> I don't believe it. The tapping stopped. Ah, I've still got it, huh? We're back with more cool tunage. I wonder what King Kong would have done about this. Who? The gorilla! I thought he was only a general! Oh, never mind! David, we've got to stop Brachio! Right, let's go! Alon's landing! Now's my chance to devolve him back into a prehistoric, mindless Allosaurus! <laughs> Alright, Brachio, freeze! You too, Shorty! Shorty? You're too late, Allo. One more push and the statue goes flying, along with Brottle Thunder and the memo. Empty threats, Brachio. We have the drop on you. Do you really, Allo? Allo, look out! <laughs> He's turning into a prehistoric Brachiosaurus! Stop sniveling! One more blast from my devolver, and I'll turn him back into an egg! Ah! David! <laughs> you turned David into a cave boy! So I have! Maybe it'll be an improvement! <laughs> what fools these mammals be! Hey! What's he doing? Ah! My ship! Now, Allo, prepare to devolve as Brachio and that mammal did. Hey, where is that mammal anyway? Never underestimate a mammal, Rex. Even a devolved one. What's that thing? A nice mammal. Good mammal. Put the club down like a nice mammal. <laughs> Thunder! Hold on! Here comes Demetro! Okay, Demetro, nice timing! Cushion the big guy's ball, then head back to base! Roger, watch this move, Allo! Welcome back to Earth. Are you two all right? Sure, but, but what about David? Can, can you change 
Catch him back? Where is he? What are we gonna do? Easy, Sarah. He's right He was right here. Where did he go? Oh, no! He's headed into New York City! Blah, blah! Quick, get the raft from my ship! All right, I'm gonna go sightseeing in New York after all! What's going on? Hey, that guy must be nuts! Easy, handsome. You want a hot dog, you wait your time like the next guy, huh? Hey, 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 what you doing? Stop it, you big ape. That's my whole day's inventory. Cut it out now. You pay up or I call a cow. All right, that's it. Police! Police! Man, hot dog eater! I got a man hot dog eater right here! Somebody come help me! Come on, you cops! Get over here! Well, here you are. David, it's me, Sarah. I don't think he recognizes me. Easy, son. We're friends. Come on, we'll take you someplace safe. Well, what's the matter with you people? Didn't you ever see a cave boy and two dinosaurs before? I get it now. You guys are all from a movie. Hey, hey. is Dino shooting another one of them big pictures here in town, huh? Not Dino. Dinos! We're dinosaurs from outer space. <laughs> dinosaurs from outer space. Great title. Oh, don't tell me. You got here in flying saucers. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, <laughs> You're a riot, I love you. And now, uh, where do I send a bill for all the hot dogs your cave boy actor ate? Send it to Reptilon. Reptilon, I got it. Hey, that's in Jersey, ain't it? Hey, hey, Mac, what's the zip code? I think David will like him more in here. <laughs> Right, Sarah, look at him. Oh, it's like he just came home. Well, riding subways is the closest thing we have to living in caves. Can you change him back to normal, Ello? I'm not sure, but I'll just try reversing the polarity of Rex's devolver here. There. Now, let's see what happens. Move back, you two. You did it! David's back to normal! You all right, David? Hmm? Uh? Yeah, um, I'm fine, but I don't remember too clearly what happened. Oh, nothing much. You just turned into a cave boy and chased Rex away with a club. Then you destroyed a hot dog stand in the middle of Times Square. That I think I'm going to remember. But you guys blew your cover to save me. Now the world knows about the dinosaurs. I don't think we need to worry, David. The world is one thing. New Yorkers are another. They don't think we're real. Oh, so now I can come sightseeing anytime. 
After all the trouble you caused everyone by disobeying orders, you'll be lucky if I ever let you leave the lava dome again. And if I do let you go sightseeing on Earth again, we go as a group. Don't you know that it's not safe for a dinosaur to walk around New York City alone at night? It's a jungle out there. <laughs> October 1987, a small child is rescued from an abandoned well. No country comes to the aid of a child the way we do. Yet today, millions of school children need our help to keep the promise that every child gets the best education. Call 1-800-96-PROMISE for information on changing the schools in your community. You know, busting the bad guys looks very easy on TV. But in real life, those people who deal drugs are dangerous. But there is something you can do. You can put them out of business. So tell your friends, do it right. Do it straight. Don't do drugs. Wait, don't go. Why are they leaving, Lucky? We cereal pieces are upset because the marshmallows in me Lucky Charms get all the attention. Because they taste so marshmallowy. Oh my gosh, that gives me a clue. With Rainbow Magic, me cereal pieces can taste marshmallowy too. He's sprinkling hmm? the pieces. Hi, with a sprinkling of marshmallow. Now, every cereal piece in Lucky Charms has a sprinkling of marshmallow, and it's part of this complete breakfast. Tastes more marshmallowy than ever. We're back with more... Wow! Mighty Cool Tunes! USA Update is brought to you by Echo Baker's Secret Bakeware. Hello, I'm Dina Fasino. Once a safe zone, the town of Bihach is a casualty of war. The UN says Serb fighters captured part of the town despite intense NATO airstrikes this week. Back home, hundreds fed thousands in the nation's capital. Thanksgiving dinner was delivered to the homeless in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Slip, slide, and gracefully glide with Baker's Secret Non-Stick Bakeware from Echo. For USA Update, I'm Dina Fasino. Ah, the joys of parenthood. The ups, the downs. I hope you guys are insured. The near misses. Come on, let's have some kicks. Good idea. Michael Richards, John Ritter, Gilbert Gottfried. Problem Child on USA tomorrow. You know, he's one buff mouse. And by the way, here he comes to save the day. Mighty Mouse on the USA Cartoon Express. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. <laughs> I don't think so. For a new twist, the spider is mine. On an old favorite. Come and get me. The itsy bitsy spider on USA. Fridays at 6, 5 Central. <laughs> The meteors are coming. Great. Let's surprise the kids. 
Meat eaters are coming, and Shaggy and Deadbolt are gonna feed us to them. No! Maybe we ought to defend ourselves. I got an idea. Feed us to the meat eaters. We'll show you. Let's do this now. Yeah. Come on. Meteors, not meat eaters. Oh, shooting stars. Next time we want to surprise them, let's, let's not. not. Who's up for a baseball game? Well, so who's playing? The Yankees? The Mets? The Jaguars. Oh, no. Your loyalty is admirable, Winston, and I'm sure someday, some distant, far away day, the Jags will actually win a game. And I hope you're there when they do. But not me. Janine? Oh, no, not me. Oh, come on. An afternoon at the ballpark would do you some good. Yeah, like fungus on the brain would do me good. Did somebody mention fungus? No, Egon. Want to go to a baseball game? Baseball? Hmm. I knew a guy at the university who did a study on the aerodynamics of the curveball. Is that a yes? I'm afraid not. I'm in the middle of a project here. But I don't want to go by myself. Oh, Slimer! <laughs> How would you like to go to a baseball game? <laughs> It'd be a lot of fun. Sunshine, green grass, two great teams. <laughs> Popcorn. Ice cream bars, soda pop, all the hot dogs you can eat. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> 
But of course, winning or losing isn't nearly as important as how you play the game. The Jags may not win this one, but they gave it their best. going on here that's not much to go on Winston a jag player dropping a pop fly isn't exactly a supernatural event now if he caught the ball that'd be supernatural I know what I saw well look at this I stopped at the library on the way home nothing supernatural has ever been reported in the stadium except in ancient Indian legends. They state that once every 500 years, the supernatural forces of good and evil fight a battle. That battle has always taken place on the same site, on the very spot where the Jaguar Stadium now stands. The Indian legends are very specific. Okay, okay. Tomorrow we'll go see the mayor. If we can't get a permit, then there's nothing we can do. It could take days to get permission. What happens if there's a major supernatural manifestation in the meantime? People could get hurt. There's not much else we can do, at least not until morning, so I say we all get some sleep. I'm gonna stay up and read a while. Maybe I can find something useful. Okay, Winston. Good night. Good night. Good night. This is terrific, meeting a real Ghostbuster. Hey, I read about you in the papers all the time. I know just about every... Well, I appreciate you letting me in here to have a look at it. <gasps> there it is. Oh, my gosh. You better get out of here. I'll follow in a minute. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Yikes! Hello, Ghostbusters? This guy is brave. Amazing. The level of ectoplasmic energy is unprecedented. So what's our plan of action? We're gonna have to blast our way through this barrier. If we shoot three particle beams at the same spot at its base, I think we can form a tunnel right through it, but it won't last long.
for more. Wow. Cool tunage. If I were big, who would start one? Not even the biggest boy. And I could do a cannonball into a swimming pool of high sea. Because when you're this big, you get really thirsty. High sea, good fruit taste for kids who think big. Now you can find the uncanny X-Men and their enemies on high sea drink boxes. They're perfect if you love super-powered mutants. Or happen to be one. Also, X-Men Hero Caps and Comic in specially marked packages. Fruity Pebbles has a flavor that's new. Gotta get French Pebbles with new berry blue. The blues, dude! I can't sing the blues without something very blue to sing about. Try my Fruity Pebbles! Mmm! Orange, grape, cherry, lemon, lime, and new berry blue! Fruity of flavors, too! Hey, let me play! <laughs> you blew in Puff's Fruity Pebble cereal with Berry Brew, part of his complete breakfast. Mighty Max, Mighty Max. There's doom some danger waiting for you. Mighty Max. Snakes and spiders, dungeons too. Mighty Max. Get out, doom. Or you'll meet your doom. Meet sold separately, bonus figure included while supplies last. Attack, attack. They're bad. They bite. They live to fight. Attack, attack. Dark Claw. Grizzler. Big Bones. Sliminator. Attack back. Each one separately. Collect them all. Unleash the beast. Come under the rainbow. you done with Winston? They made me shortstop! What? I'd ask for a good explanation of this, Winston, but I'm afraid you'd tell me. Remember those ancient Indian legends? Once every 500 years, good and evil slug it out right on this spot. They've always chosen the form of battle from their surroundings. But when good and evil showed up this time, they found a baseball stadium. So I suggested they play a game of baseball this time around. But how is it you're playing? When good and evil choose sides for battle, no one can be neutral. The umpire said I could play. I always wanted to play in the majors. Winston was here when the battle began, but it's too late in the game to add new players. You three must go. Wait a minute. Do you know what we had to go through to get in here? Winston's our friend. If he's in danger... Yeah, like what happens to the losers of this game? Nothing. Then what are you playing for? The fate of one human soul. You guys hijacked an entire stadium, not to mention our buddy Winston, and panicked the entire city for just one soul? Just one soul? Is there anything on this puny earth as important? Isn't even one soul worth all this effort and more? Yeah, well, if you put it that way. You can't make us leave. We have a stake in this game, don't we? You may stay. Resume your position, Winston. Don't worry, guys. Wait a minute. Did I miss something here? Don't you understand, Peter? 
They must be playing for Winston's soul. Why else would they let him play? Well, what happens if good loses? The soul spends 500 years in torment doing evil's bidding. Ask a silly question? Play ball! I don't like to make snap judgments, but don't Winston's teammates look a little wispy to be playing this game? Spirits can be like that, Peter. They haven't done too badly. It's been zero to zero for eight innings. Empire, just a sec. You disagree with my call? Oh no, good call. You're out. Concise. We just wanted to point out, seeing as how you're new to this game, that evil just cheated. Full tilt, flat out, no doubt about it. Doesn't that call for a forfeiture of the game? You mean declare evil the losers for cheating? Yeah, that's the basic idea. But evil cheats. That's its nature. It does whatever unscrupulous or immoral thing it has to to win. That's why we call them evil. Only good is not allowed to cheat. If good adopts the ways of evil, it becomes evil. So if good cheats, evil automatically wins. Got it? Play ball! I wonder if good is allowed to steal bases. Maybe good just borrows them, Ray. have a minute guys but I wanted to say I'm glad the ump let you stay you don't know how important this game is I think we have an idea hey you're only down by one point you still have three outs to go so go on get out of here we're not worried okay thanks I'm very very worried about Winston Thank <laughs> you. 
They'd better have their best hitter coming up. It's Winston. Can Winston take this guy? That's Evil's best pitcher. Your friend may not have a chance. It's just not right, letting a game decide Winston's fate. There's got to be something we can do. If they won't let us in the game, what can we do? Maybe Winston would have an easier time against another pitcher. Hey, we're not playing in the game. No one said we couldn't cheat. Play ball! Right one. Egon, get ready with the ecto trap. As soon as we fire our proton beams at him, get the trap out there. Hmm. If no one is neutral. Steel right two. Ready? We can't do it. If we cheat, good loses. Nuts! It was a test, wasn't it? I told you no one can be neutral. You had to choose. Would you cheat for your friend, or would you trust in fair play and let good win on its own terms? Perhaps we'll meet again someday. You know, I wish I'd been able to study that umpire a little more closely, gotten a few more readings. We saved our buddy here, isn't that enough? What? We knew all along that it was your soul being played for, Winston. Oh no, you got it wrong. It was your soul we were playing for, Peter. That's why they let me play. You mean I almost... <laughs> that if I cheated, it would have been my... Peter, are you all right? That does it. From now on, I only go to Mets games. Mets? Are you crazy? Hey, the Toronto Blue Jays are the team you watch. No, no, that'd be it. The Hold on, everybody. Whoa, hot track of late. And hurry back for more cool tunes. Dunkaroos is the cookie you drunk for as much frosting as you want. So how do you do your Dunkaroos? Thunderous Thunder Dunk. The big wind-up dunk. Dunk a Dunkaroo in as much chocolate and vanilla frosting as you want. Mm. So how do you do your Dunkaroos? The two fifths. 
I mean, three-fifths of junk. Everybody knows why kids drink milk. We like the taste. It's fun. But secretly, kids are drinking milk because it helps us grow bigger. Imagine us on big, cool bodies, doing big, cool things, wearing big, cool clothes. Imagine us staying up late. Imagine us driving cars. Everybody knows why kids drink milk. We like the taste, right? Sure we do. But milk does help us get bigger. Imagine us in charge. Yo! Are you hip to these? Are you in the know? Cause here's where Ava Minis were made to go. In your mouth! Who needs a plate? In your mouth! Cause they're made to fit your face. It's in your mouth! Then make a yum! Ava Minis! Show them how it's done, you guys. Pop them in your mouth, move it over down. Give them all you got. Where's it gonna stop? In your mouth! Try them on for size. Ava Minis! Open wide! Don't play with your ego. Open bar out. Ava Minis, the waffles, the side of your mouth. Ava Minis, part of this complete breakfast that's made to fit. In your mouth! This plumbing is shot. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> Very funny. Get this old leaky plumbing fixed before we get flooded out of business. Oh, all we gotta do is change this and hook this up here. And ah, let's toss this out. It don't look important. I can't believe they're not finished yet. They've had the water shut off all night, and I've just got to take a shower. Okay, here comes the water. Uh oh. Well, you said you wanted to take a shower. If you're surfing for the coolest place to see new cartoons, check out the new faces on... Some people know all about Itsy Bitsy Spider and Problem Child on the USA Cartoon Express. But if you're totally clueless, just stay tuned. I'm the star of my own show on USA, so I can do this. I'll get you, Junior! I don't think so. I don't think so. The spider is mine. <laughs> Two new cartoons with one thing in common, Tagu. Once again, for the totally clueless, that's Tagu. Or totally annoyed grown-ups. For lots more Tagu, check out the Itsy Bitsy Spider and Problem Child. Sundays at 11 and Fridays at 6. Only on Cartoon Express. And keep watching for the USA Kids Club. We're back with more... Wow! Mighty Cool Tunes! Power Rangers, teenage defenders of the Earth, in a never-ending battle against evil space aliens with nasty attitudes. <laughs> yes, the Power Rangers are a bunch of boneheads. Hey, knock it off! Okay, we'll we'll knock it off. off! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. And now available from Bandai, it's the Power Rangers 3-inch collectibles, each in an awesome battle-ready stance. So what are you waiting for? Are you going to sleep all day? Yeah. I got an idea. Let's get some corn pops. We don't have any. They don't have Kellogg's corn pops? Get serious. I am. She isn't. Oh, like sweet, crunchy popcorn. I can almost taste it. And I'm not spending my weekend with someone who snores, which I'm going to tell everybody at school if I can't have my pops. <laughs> Come on, girls. I bought those corn pops. Want a bowl? Well, sure, if that's what you got. Kellogg's corn pop cereal is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. Cartoon Express, the USA Cartoon Express. Grab 
Babylon East and heading west. It's a great big call at Cartoons Fest. I'm Virgil here. If you're ready to live. It's time for Cartoons right now, right here. Where Tony helps keep things right on track. With famous cartoon stars riding in back. Hop on board for the daily run. Animals, cartoon, and carnival. Action, adventure, and all the rest on the USA. Seven centuries have passed since the Earth plunged into darkness. Seven centuries since the Jetiter swore to regain for man his lost knowledge and freedom. All the immortals took the oath, all except one who dominates the world. But soon an immortal will come to confront him. His name is Quentin MacLeod. He is the Highlander. Someone's still following us. Don't worry. Nobody can follow us where we're headed. Not even the hunters. So where exactly are we headed? And who is this mysterious Jedditor I'm supposed to meet? Just stay sharp. We're almost there. The two Hars have probably spotted us already. Yeah! No! Go! No stopping us! They're holding us up! Three strangers are approaching, Master. One man and two children. And they're being followed by the hunters of Moganda. What does the man look like? He's big and he's wearing a long red cape. Him, Faraz. The one who will guide the Highlander to the Sandman. Seven centuries, Faraz. After seven centuries, here they are. Finally. You, bring them here. You, deal with the hunters. Leave it to me, Master. Well, we've lost their tracks. The wind has covered everything up. No, wait! You're a wreck, aren't you? Who are you? My master has often spoken about you, Iraq. Welcome, Ramirez. You are Ramirez, are you not? So my mother called me. <laughs> and you are Asuan, the chief of the Tuhars? This is Quentin MacLeod. Welcome, Highlander. I'm his sister, Clyde. Welcome to you also, Clyde. 
<laughs> ah, all of my people are like this, Clyde. Don't be afraid. There's someone following us, Asawan. I know. Don't worry. Faraz, one of my men, is taking care of it. So, you work for Asclepios, do you? What have you got that might interest me? Would the Highlander's head interest you? I'm listening. They've come here to meet the Sandman. Cortan will want to know. The Sandman? We'd better leave now. The sooner we get finished with this, the better. First, I would like to make sure that this young man is the one we've been waiting for. Are you ready to prove your immortality? You don't <laughs> trust us? We are the lookouts. We will guide only the Highlander to the Sandman. Ah! This serpent will attack anyone but me, and her bite is fatal. Touch her. Uh, don't do it, Quentin! Are you convinced now? Yes. You are Quentin McLeod. But to be honest, there was no risk. She only attacks at my order. <laughs> The Sandman. You mean Prometheus? Yes, Lord Cortan. Faraz would lead us right to him. And to the Highlander. Below. Below. Nothing but this left. Left of what? What happened here, Ramirez? What happened? This was once a glorious garden, MacLeod. Flowers of all colors and fruits everywhere. And then man invented the atomic bomb. The what? Ah, the bomb alone. Prometheus knows the secrets of atomic power. I must have this wonderful bomb alone. <laughs> the Highlander wants it too, Lord Cartan. <laughs> but I will have it! And then my power will have no limits! Imagine a weapon so powerful it could destroy an entire city, even Wakanda, in seconds. Before the Great Catastrophe, man tried it out on a country called Japan. the single most destructive weapon ever invented. It can incinerate a forest dozens of miles from where it explodes. I saw what it can do. Where a city once stood, there was nothing. The people of Nagasaki were alive one moment and then gone the next. Its weapon terrifies even me. This is it. This is the old military base. They're still here. Ready for death and destruction. My mission stops here. The Sandman will know you have arrived. He will contact you. Thank you, my friend. Good luck, Highlander. May you fulfill your destiny. It is finally. But the Highlander is still so young. I... Oh! He mustn't see me in this state. Where is Prometheus? It would take too long to explain. These instruments showed images from life. I've never seen anything like it. How does it work? There, look. These are the pictures of this region before the Great Catastrophe. 
This is what caused the earthquakes. And then, there were massive atomic explosions. Ah. Why are you showing me this? Because these are the secrets you must learn. This is the terrible knowledge that Prometheus must pass on to you. It's horrible! I don't want that sort of knowledge. If you refuse, you will never be able to control it. Imagine if these secrets fell into Cortan's hands. Ah. He's here. Quinton McLeod. I wait a great many years for this moment. Finally, you will set me free. Prometheus? No, Ramirez, no closer. What's the matter? What has happened to you? It was the fallout, Ramirez. After the great catastrophe, the radiation filtered into the base. My body has been <sighs> subjected to radiation for seven centuries. I'm not human anymore. Look what's happened to him, Ramirez. It's awful. And this is the knowledge you want me to have? Never! Do you hear me? I don't want it! Ever! Come on, Clyde, let's get out of here. McLeod! Wait! Knowledge can be dangerous, but wisdom is understanding how to avoid even greater danger. I don't care, Ramirez. Quentin, I swear to you! No! You can't leave! I must be set free. We'll be back for more... Cool tunage! Hey Ralph, want my burger and fries? Oh yeah! Want my pizza and tacos? Oh yeah! Did you eat too much? Oh yeah! Oh no! Hey Ralph! Oh yeah! You know it's not much fun to eat at Ralph! Oh yeah! Watch out, here it comes! Yeah. It's Eat It Ralph's! First to feed Ralph all their food wins, but be careful, cause you never know! Eat it, Ralph! Oh, oh yeah! You know it's not much fun to eat it, Ralph! It Ralph's. Oh yeah. In a minute. How'd you like to get your hands on some dinosaurs? Hi, I'm CJ Luxon of Clifton, New Jersey. My hobby, building dinoramas. Most of the time I buy like just cheap like toy dinosaurs, like regular ordinary dinosaurs. And I'll remold them, you know, cut them up and turn them into like good looking dinosaurs like museum quality. Instead of buying stuff, you make it. And it's, it's cheaper and it's better. It looks better and you can say, like to somebody, ooh, where'd you get that? I made it, you know, and you feel good. And they say, oh, really? Could you make me one and everything? And well, dinosaurs, they were like real. They were, they were like monsters, but they were real and they ruled the earth. The fun part is they don't bite. <laughs> Just exactly what does it taste like? Oh. New Taco Ranch Salad Dressing! Care to comment on the flavor? And new Nacho Cheese Ranch! Can you describe its taste? For new flavors that will blow your mind! New Hidden Valley. Take care of Cortan's men, Ferraz? I took care of everything, Asuan. Good. Now we have finally achieved our mission. Quite. But we will soon enough. Ferraz?
Where is he? Find him, Ramirez! I beg you, find him! I can't hold out much longer. What do you mean? I am in too much pain. The radiation has destroyed my body. But you're immortal. <laughs> do you really think that helps, Ramirez? My immortality has become my prison. Because of it, I have no hope of ever ending this pain and suffering. Sometimes the pain is so great that I would do anything to stop it. Anything? What's that? Someone is approaching the base. I am your humble servant, O oh Lord Cortan. Are you a spy for Asclepios? Yes, Lord Cortan. Here is the key to the fortress. What are you doing, Quentin? Are you listening to me? I'm thinking about Prometheus. He's waited seven centuries. That takes a lot of courage. Don't tell me you're changing your mind. No, of course not. What is this? This is what you use to betray the man who trusted you? Give it to me, Hunter. You know what would make me happy? If one day you did the same to Asclepios. Give it back to me, Iraq. <gasps> No! What a pity. You won't have the chance to betray another master, Faraz. Wait for me here. I'm going alone. And that? What does it mean? Maybe Quinton and Clyde are on the way back. This time, Ramirez. You must convince him. It wasn't Quentin who opened the airlock. That's right, Ramirez. Oh. I've come for your knowledge, Prometheus. To complete my power. You won't get it, Cortan. Quentin! Uh, Cortan, he's here. <laughs> Look at you, Prometheus. The radiation has turned you into a monster. He wants the knowledge Prometheus has. But he won't get it, Quentin. Prometheus won't give it to him. Where's the Highlander? Maybe he doesn't want your secrets after all. <laughs> Does it hurt, Prometheus? Too bad the Highlander has run away. And nobody can set you free. Except... I fulfilled my mission. I deserve mercy. No. No! Leave me alone, Ramirez! You can't give the knowledge to him. I can. I kept my word. I was ready to pass my knowledge to the Highlander. It was he who refused. I can't bear this pain anymore. Don't listen, uh. Quentin. Let's get out of here. He's going to give the secrets of the bomb to Cortan. I have the right to be free! You're right, Prometheus. I will set you free. I accept your knowledge. You think it's so simple, Highlander? You want it, and you get it, but you haven't even learned how to fight, McCloud. You're nothing but a cowardly child. For once in your life, fight like a Highlander, if you dare. No, you're not ready. You haven't got a chance. He hasn't got a choice. He must accept my challenge this time. You cannot make him, Cortan. Who but I can? Watch me. Where's he going? I don't know.
He's in the missile launching room. I'm waiting for you, Highlander. And you had better come if you don't want to see the Highland wiped out by this <laughs> wonderful weapon. <laughs> no! He needs your knowledge, Prometheus. Give it to him. It's not, Ramirez. Now I know. Stop. That's the ignition button. No, it's the guidance system. But I need to do something first. No! What is he doing? He's... He's programming another missile. Another missile? Has he gone mad? No. Maybe not. Me too. No, you can't do that. Both missiles have been destroyed. Harmlessly. <laughs> well done, Highlander. I knew you could do it. I knew it. Free. I'm finally free. You had better put some distance between you and Quartan. I'll hold him back for a while. What are you going to do? That's not important. Go, Highlander. Complete your mission. Farewell, Prometheus. My cloud. Before you go, I want you to see my face. So you will never forget the horror atomic power is capable of. Goodbye, Prometheus. I swear, I will never pass this knowledge on to anyone. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. Hold on, everybody! Whoa! Hot track of late! And hurry back for more cool tunage! Guess what's in Marshmallow Alphabet cereal? Super Swirls! <laughs> Here's our magic swirling place for ABC. Delicious taste. Mm. Wow, they're swirling. Pink with purple. Orange with blue. Green with yellow. Colors for you. Marshmallow alphabets and alphabets are part of this complete breakfast. Alphabets with super swirls. Marshmallow fun for boys and girls. We love super swirls because they're ABC. Delicious. Bumble around with the bumble ball, baby. Bumble, bumble, bumble around. Silly little ball, and it don't mean maybe makes you laugh when you pick it up or put it down. Everybody loves trying to get a handle on the bumble ball. This gentle, wacky bumbling motion keeps you busy or puts you in a tizzy. Are we having a ball or just losing our grip? Who cares? Bumble around with the bumble ball, baby. It's the wackiest ball in town. The bumble ball for Myrtle. 
can't get enough of that golden crisp. Sugar Bell's after my golden crisp cereal. He'll never find me in China. Gotta have it, oh, honorable granny. Never! Great wall, but nothing comes between my tummy and the honey sweet crunch of golden crisp. It's part of a complete breakfast. Introducing the Sugar Bear Store. You can get a cool T-shirt, watch, and more free with proofs of purchase plus postage and handling. Details on marked boxes of Golden Crisp cereal. What's good for kids these days? Cablevision is. It's educational, informational, enlightening, and fun. Cablevision for Kids is programming that will help your child grow. It nurtures the imagination, encourages learning, and teaches the value of family. So next time someone says TV isn't good for kids, tell them to try Cablevision. Cablevision for kids. Entertainment that educates. Attention ladies, opening soon at the State Road in Pleasant Valley Plaza in Parma, another quality fitness for women location. What we offer a quality fitness is um, a comfortable atmosphere for the average person. There's not any um, high pressure sales. Save now during the pre-grand opening celebration at any quality fitness location. All the instructors are good and they're a lot of fun. They get you very motivated. Call or stop by your nearest quality fitness location today. We're back with more... Wow! Mighty Cool Tunes! This is Berry Berry Kicks, a different kind of kid's cereal. Hey, Mom, can we get that, please? And you know what they'll do to get a kid's cereal. I'll take out the garbage. It's got natural fruit flavors. I'll tell you what, I'll give up my video games. Real fruit juice and less sugar than most kid's cereals. So when your kids say, Please? You'll gladly say, okay. Berry Berry Kicks. This was worth it. You know, he is one buff mouse. And by the way, here he comes to save the day. Mighty Mouse on the USA Cartoon Express. He's the major. You have a problem with that? But who's wearing the stripes? I am taking you on. They're the pilots. They're uh, great. But who's flying this thing? I think I got this thing sewn up. Some have the rank. I'm flattered. But we know who's in charge. Oh, thank you. Major Dad and Wings on USA. Weeknights at 7, 6 Central.
Great Trips to America to ride back to the future of the ride at Universal Studios Hollywood. Another exciting adventure is captured by the USA Kids Club Winners Camp. We called the USA Kids Club Hotline and we went back to the future. Thundering across the stars to save the universe from the monster minds. Jace searches for his father to unite the magic root and lead his lightning league to victory over the changing form of Sawboss. Wheeled warriors explode into battle. Lightning strikes. There's a power that comes from deep inside of you. Can't divine why Herc would set us down here. We were going directly toward Audric's signal. Something to do with money, I bet. Go get him, Jace. Why are Herc's tracks so zigzaggy? Boom, that's just the way he thinks sometimes. We all woke up to find ourselves landed on this godforsaken planet. 20 north, 50 east. This better have something to do with that signal we were following from my father. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Jace, you take all the fun out of life. What's this? Be careful, uh, that map's a thousand years old. Buried treasure? Come on, kid, relax. What's another hour or two? Monster Minds! Let's get moving. Ready when you are, Master. Jace and the Root, take them! idea. Watch this soon. Strike! Flee while you can, Jace. We'll meet again.
Don't look at me that way. In case anybody's interested, this happens to be a map to the treasure of Zornadu. Won it in a card game on Altair 7. This'll make a great paper airplane. <laughs> Hands off, spinach nose. M -m master M -m master uh, ow, ow, uh, outside! Herc, look out! Okay, it's not my day, but with a small course correction. What's this? A whole galaxy. Taken over by monster mines. Did any people live down there? Well, not for centuries, fortunately. My father's signal came from somewhere on the other side. Can you get us through? That's what hyperspace drive is all about, kid. Life support system's okay. Rocket power's okay. Everything else is out, including hyperspace. How long to repair the hyperdrive? Oh, a month easy. If it isn't worse than I think. That's too long. Fascinating. The vines have pulled all the planets in this galaxy so close together it could form a black hole. Uh, just a bit more mass. A black hole? We're getting out of here. Fast. Wait. How much more mass, Gillian? I I'll put it on the main screen. Ooh, uh, a middling planet would be adequate. Let's do it. Kid, you don't fool around with black holes. Even to get a galaxy out of your way. We also destroy a large monster mine breeding ground. Gillian, you always said planets are like the flowers of space. Would you destroy one on purpose? Only a dead planet, my child. Perfect. Quite dead and with enough old rocket parts for our purposes. Chase, I feel like something's alive here. Are you sure, Flora? Herc, you got the life form detector working yet? Give me a break. I can't fix everything at once. Flora, we orbited the planet and there was no sign of life. Are you sure? No, I guess not. It was a fuzzy feeling anyway. Probably just leftover old moss. I'll prepare to ignite the rockets. Once the rockets are ignited, we'll have to leave rather quickly. Just connect this cord and everything's ready for ignition. Herc, are we ready for liftoff? Herc Storm Sailor doesn't hang around black holes. Ignite! Okay, let's get out of here. I suspect the vines themselves will help us. We now have three hours to critical mass. Again! I feel it! Someone's alive down there! Herc, is the life form detector repaired yet? Not that it makes any difference now, but uh, sure. Good heavens! Human life! One person on that doomed planet, 
the poor soul. We have to go back. Kid, you finally broke the string on your yo-yo. Forget it. Master, black holes are terribly dangerous places. We have three hours to save an innocent person. We can do it. Two hours and 50 minutes. And we can't. Do something. Look, it's not that I don't feel sorry for whoever's down there. The lost treasure of Zornadu. It's buried on that planet. Hmm. Nine minutes to land. Six minutes to where the X is. Seven minutes to dig. Chase, it's directly below us. I don't see anybody. They're underground. No wonder we couldn't spot them before. Hey, this is the same place my treasure map shows. <laughs> You're in luck. Monster Minds, they spotted us. Okay, Herc, do it. Roger. I'm plowing right through them. Uh oh Landing accelerator's gone haywire. Well, we met even sooner than I expected. And this time, you won't escape! We'll be back for more... Wow. Cool tunage! Fantastic blossoms and bows made by me. Mom's gonna love these. I love making blossoms and bows. They're such pretty colors. Fantastic blossoms and bows. Can I try? Sure, it's so easy. Made by me. They smell pretty. The one and only... Fantastic blossoms and bows made by me. <laughs> Fantastic blossoms and bow making set. Refill sold separately. Lighting at 12 o'clock. Cool. Honey nut Cheerios. And nobody beats a bee to the taste of nuts and honey. Oh, right here. Right for the taste. Whoa. The honey sweet taste. See you at breakfast, fly boy. When it's a honey sweet part of this complete breakfast, you'll raise all the A Hershey bar will improve your image in a flash. Introducing Pizza Ranch Salad Dressing! Can you describe its taste? Pizza Ranch, Taco Ranch, Nacho Cheese Ranch, and Super Creamy Ranch. New from Hidden Valley. Guess what's in Marshmallow Alphabet Cereal? Super Swirls Marshmallows. <laughs> Here's our magic swirling place for ABC. Delicious taste. Mm. Wow, they're swirling. Pink with purple. Orange with blue. Green with yellow. Colors for you. Marshmallow Alphabet and Alphabets are part of this complete breakfast. Alphabets with Super Swirls. Marshmallow fun for boys and girls. We love Super Swirls because they're ABC delicious. Three-dimensional stop-action photography recreates the age of dinosaurs in dramatic scientific detail. Recommended for all ages. Makes a great gift. Dinosaurs, the all-new three-volume home video series. Only yours now. Learning about dinosaurs is suitable for children of all ages. Fun for the entire family. Sorry, no CODs. Three tapes for 1998. Call 1-800-835-7000. With more cool tunage. The master, I feel safer in good old Unum Force. Drill Sergeant's a great fighter too, Un, and we'll need it to dig once we take care of these guys.
Hey, we never fought like this to save the universe. Kid, you got your crusade, I got mine. Master, they're running away. All right. Spike trike, trailblazer. Guard the ship from attack. Defensive mode G. 15 degrees east? Remember, if we're not back in one hour, leave. Keep trying to find father. You're coming back, Chase. You will. should be helping each other, not going in different directions. Indeed, how forgetful I'm becoming. Okay, 30 due north. Hey! I've been reading this wrong. Well, that's better. 30 due south. Remember, kid, the human down there is yours, but the treasure's mine. Only one hour and 25 minutes until the critical mass. When will they get back? Soon, Flora, soon. Gillian! Splendid. A chance to test my new armor plating. It seemed to work, wouldn't you say, Flora? So they believe they have safe refuge in a barge, do they? All of you, do exactly as I say! Oh dear, what now? What a civilization this must have been. What a rich civilization. Oh, baby, I finally hit it big! Hey, this map doesn't fit anymore. Oh, well, I got 58 minutes to check out this place. hot in here. Gillian, can't we do something? Spike trike and trailblazer are malfunctioning in the heat. Come, Flora, to the vehicle parking area. I have an idea. Anyone here? We only have 30 minutes to get you off this planet. Oh, please, come out so we can leave here. Hello? Is anyone here? Damn gun clean jumpers will follow a man anywhere. The name is Happy Trails, and I've been prospecting this claim for 20 years. Come on down. Real slow. This planet's going into a black hole in less than half an hour. You have to leave. Just the sort of cockeyed story a clean jumper would make up. Into the vehicles. You too. Don't have to tell me twice, sonny. More claim jumpers! That's what they are! Damn it! Something. We have to do something. The pillars support the ceiling. There must be tons of rock overhead. Retreat! Lure the monster mines into the center. It's our only hope. Roger. Please, hurry! That's better, Gillian. I was starting to feel like a steamed cauliflower. It's not strong enough. 
And not much time left before critical mass. Where are they? Kid, it's time to get up. Master, hurry, hurry! Master, look out behind you! Give up, Jace. Your position is hopeless. Your desperation is pitiful. Surrender! All the way back. Don't have an inch to spare. What? What's that? My treasure. Mine, dang it! Incredible! There really was... Huh? No! We'll fight over it later, old-timer. Hey, let go! I'm afraid, child, that we have no more time. The root must be saved above all, though I wish it were otherwise. Wait! Gillian! Get back! It's them! All right, I'll do it. the lost treasure of Zornadu behind. That ain't Zornadu, you idiot. It's Kubla Key. And I got a map that proves. Gillian made your map. Herc, I'm sorry. Huh? What did you say? But what an interesting coincidence. That there should actually be a treasure. Huh, yeah. Very interesting. Mr. Trails, how did you live on that dead planet for 20 years? Got dropped off by a ship, little girl. Every five years or so, it comes back with supplies. You can just set me down on the nearest inhabited planet. If we pass one, but we can't go out of our way. We don't have the time. Suit yourself, sonny. I know a thousand long songs to help pass the time away. Oh, I'm the lonesome prospector. For gold in every space vector, but the planet I call home. Herc, find the nearest inhabited planet. Hold on, everybody. Whoa, hot track of late. And hurry back for more cool tunes. Attack! Big roads above the jungle. New battle birds. Battle bird! Airplanes become battling birds of prey. Heroic Sky Vice clutches his claws. Night Slayer uh, uh, shows uh, his dark side. Battle bird! But Terror Dactyl is tearing up the sky. Part plane, part battle bird. Attack back, battle bird! Oh, please stop me! Attack back, battle bird vehicles. Each sold separately only from Hot Wheels. 
from Walt Disney Pictures, when Preston Waters got a blank check. Get this check to your dad, he'll know what to do with it. He did something everyone dreams of doing. One million dollars. He cashed it. Yay! Now he's buying the coolest car. Yay! The neatest toy. Oh! And a whole lot of trouble. Yay! Preston! Yay! Disney's blank check. No further notice, you're grounded. Let's like party till we die. Rated PG. Sneak preview February 5th and 6th. Wait, don't go. Why are you leaving, Lucky? Me cereal pieces are upset because the marshmallows in me Lucky Charms get all the attention. It's because they taste so marshmallowy. Oh my gosh, that gives me a clue. With rainbow magic, me cereal pieces can taste marshmallowy too. He sprinkled hmm? the pieces. Hi, with a sprinkling of marshmallow. Now, every cereal piece in Lucky Charms has a sprinkling of marshmallow, and it's part of this complete breakfast. Tastes more marshmallowy than ever. Yeah! Let's boogie! Tune in to the USA Cartoon Express tomorrow morning at 7. Oh, radical, dude. Let's get back to Cartoon Express, but first, back. Hey, Duke, man, what you doing? Just working on the fan. Hurry up, Luke. No problem, boss. Just look at these paint stains. We're sorry, but we have to get the banner ready for the hotel bash. Huh. I just have to clean this myself. Hey, Duke, hang up a banner, please. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. Wow, stop. Wow. Hi, enough. Hi, enough, Duke. We're back with more... Wow! Mighty Cool Tunes. Engineering, it's the hottest thing in the world for me. Hi, I'm Eugene Matos from Newark, New Jersey, and creating new technology, that's where it's at. US First is an engineering competition to get teenagers interested in engineering. We took a box of garbage. It's garbage, things you'll see in the street. And um, we made it into a robot. The robots in this competition have to pick up balls and put them in a goal. To find out how you and your school could get involved in the National Robot Engineering Competition, write to USA Kids, Team Robot, US First, 340 Commercial Street, Manchester, New Hampshire, 03101. Well, that was great, seeing your ideas being incorporated into that, something that actually works. <laughs> If I were big, who would start one? Not even the biggest bully. And I could do cannonball into a swimming pool of high sea. Because when you're this big, you get really thirsty. High sea, good fruit taste for kids who think big. Wham! Bam! Body Slam USA. The remote stops here for action. Cartoon Express, the USA Cartoon Express, traveling east and heading west. It's a great big call at Cartoon Fest. I'm Hudson here. If you're waiting for me, it's time for cartoons right now, right here. Where Tony helps keep things right on track. The famous cartoon stars are riding in back. So hop on board for the daily world. Animals, cartoon, carnival, action, adventure, and all the rest on the USA Cartoon Express. It is a
legend no one will forget. Everyone thought King Koopa had left the Mushroom Kingdom. And then, his doom ship attacked. King Koopa was back with the greatest danger ever known, his Koopa Kids. Using their new superpowers, the Super Mario Brothers rescued Princess Toadstool and beat back the evil Koopa family. I've sent you Koopalings to pull sneaky little tricks and medium-sized meanness. Now you're ready for the biggest badness of all. Goomba guards, show them the guy we're out to get's life-size portrait. That's Prince Hugo the Huge, the new ruler of Giantland. They say he's the biggest, toughest, bravest prince ever, even for a giant. He's a giant. Giant Schmiant, Big Mouth. He ain't that big a deal. <laughs> No, Big Mouth's right. Right, King Bad, but that's what I was gonna say. If somebody like Big Mouth or Cootie Pie ought to stop him. Somebody is gonna stop him. I'm gonna turn Prince Hugo the Huge into a poodle. <laughs> a miniature poodle. <laughs> so, who's gonna bring me Prince Hugo so I can coop him into submission? But bad, this could be dangerous. Isn't there a small prince we could capture? Bully, Big Mouth, Jeezy, Kooky, step forward. <laughs> you are now sneaky, lying, cheating, giant ninja Koopas. And nothing can stop you. Now, bring me Prince Hugo so I can cut him down to size. <laughs> We came as soon as we got your message, Prince Hugo. First message we ever got that was bigger than the post office. I really need you, my friends. I'm in gigantic trouble. Rawr! Gigantic trouble! Gigantic! My royal army has just been defeated by giant ninja Koopas, and now they're marching here to capture me. No job is too big for the Super Mario Brothers, Prince. We'll protect ya! These shrimpy guys couldn't help the royal fleet! What you don't know, Bird, is that our shrimpy guys can get supercharged! Come on, Luigi! We'll show this parrot! Let's find us a couple of super leaves! We gotta find them fast! Those giant ninja Koopas will be here any minute! What? Let go! I'll catch ya! Nice catch, Mario. Couldn't see ya. The sun was in my eyes. I was not. Run for Red Luigi! You didn't happen to see where those two pesky plumbers went, did you? Uh, behind that cloud. Thanks. That sun is not too bright. Now, let's hightail it back to Giant Land and stop those no good ninja Koopas. Remember, Mario, don't let any Koopa touch you or you'll lose your power. Whoa! I see some ugly raccoons in my day, but these are the worst! Yeah, they're almost as ugly as the Mario Brothers! Those are the Mario Brothers! And if you don't let us go, they'll make you sorry! Run, you fuzzy fungus! I'll make them sorry! Oh, Rato, Rato, Nato! I'm a god! Oh, I'm 
Super no more. Just plain old Mario. <laughs> me too, Mario. They got me. I love being a Koopa. Do you hear to evict me? Rock! I'm the royal parrot. You're a royal pain. And we need your cage for our prisoners. Rock! We gotta put Mario in there! <laughs> First you gotta catch me! Quick! Get us out of here! Get off my back, would ya? It's our only chance to save Prince Hugo and all my friends! I'm not leaving here without my cage! My whole life's in that cage! My Big Bird booster, my worms from Outer Space comic book collection! Everything! Ah! I'll get you your royal cage back! Promise? Promise. Fly, bird, fly! Whoa! Big deal. We still got Prince Hugo and three more prisoners than King Daddy sent us for. Whoa, yeah! Let's get back to Castle Koopa so Dad can tell us how smart we are. At last, you did some rottenness worthy of a Koopa. I'm so proud of you, Koopalings. Now you'll see why I modestly <laughs> call myself a genius. <laughs> Poodle Wand, do your stuff! What? Oh no! Poor Prince Hugo! It's the small things in life that make a Koopa happy. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that my brilliant plan is complete, it's time for you kids to be zapped back to normal size. Oh, Pop, we're having such fun being sneaky lion cheating giant ninja Koopas. Couldn't we stay like this and go capture a couple more kingdoms? That's a cruel, rotten, disgusting idea. And I love it! <laughs> I'll use this ninja wand later. Get it open. But never mind, Princess. Now I've got a way to trick old Koopa. But we'll have to work together. Listen close. For he's a jolly bad Koopa, which nobody can deny. So, what kingdom are we giant ninja Koopas gonna conquer first? Waterland, desert land. Quiet, Koopalings. I'm the king here. I'll decide what land we're gonna take over. You're not taking over any land, you Bowser Koopa! What? Oh. Through my friends and turn Prince Hugo to Poodle back into Prince Hugo to Huge, or else. Or else what, plumber? Uh, just let him go, and I'll come back Tuesday and tell ya. Grab him, Koopalings! Yeah! Oh, this is horrible! Koopa's so mean, I bet he's gonna turn Mario into a miniature poodle, too! That's a great idea, Princess! You, my dear, have given me a million dollar idea! <laughs> I always wanted twin poodles! It worked, Princess! Koopa doesn't realize he's been tricked! been fooling with my wands. Good, truthful, honest, giant Ninja Mario. That's who. You're a head bandit, sweat bandit, ah! underhanded Ninja Man. A tough talking, fast walking, Koopa stalking yeah! Ninja Man. Quick, on a little Luna. Come on, 
Prince. Let's kick some Koopa. Save us. No fair. I'd like to save you, Koopalings, but I, um, I, uh, I just remembered something. I have an important tail styling appointment in another warp zone. Bye. Ah! Wait for us. We're Koopin' out, too. Thank you, Mario. You've been a big help in saving Giant Land. Now, forget it, Prince. We're just glad to have you on Poodle. Here, Mario. I better turn you back to normal. My cage! Mario ruined my cage! You promised me you'd get me back my cage! <laughs> well, I did, kinda. Besides, Luigi and I can fix it. You'd better fix that cage, Mario, or you'll be one sorry plumber! Just what we need. A miserable, squawking, angry giant ninja parrot. We'll be back for more... Cool tunage. I love those little berry berries. Hi. And berry berry kicks. A berry 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 Hello. berry bunch. Because there's lots of berry flavor squeezed in every Easy. little bite. That's why those berry berries taste so very nice. Berry berry kicks is a part of this good breakfast. Can I try some? With the berry berries everybody wants. Those berry berries taste so very nice. Thanks. Ah. When you're blowing your nose really hard, does your tissue fall apart? Just go right through them. I blow right through them. It doesn't hold. It tears. Give me one tissue, I'll destroy it. That's why there's Puff's extra strength. The softness and the strength. It's made to take the biggest sneezes, the hardest blows, because it's twice as strong when wet than the leading regular tissue. I want the ones that don't fall apart. After all those blows, they're tough. Funny nose, hand stays dry. Puff's extra strength. Strongest for your nose through all the blows. Best of both worlds, soft and strong. Hey, open up. I want that white thing. White water zest. Zest is fully clean. Yo, Dad. The deodorant bar that rinses cleaner so your skin feels smoother. Uh, I know what you want. Zest is fully clean. Soap leaves a film you can feel on your skin, but zest rinses cleaner than soap so your skin feels smoother than soap. Feels smooth. White water zest. You're not fully clean unless you're zest fully clean. Wanna see what's new? A whole pet parade, just for you. Polly Pocket has fuzzy pets, it's true. Wow. Wash the little puppies and brush them too. Polly Pocket. <laughs> Feed the fuzzy bunnies, put them in the hay. Take care of the pandas and the kitties all day. Polly Pocket. <gasps> USA Kids Club, brought to you by Honeycoin. The school year is almost ancient history, and USA Kids Club is celebrating summertime with King Honeycomb end of the school year jam sweepstakes. One grand prize winner will win an end of the school year party, complete with all the coolest party stuff and plenty of Honeycomb cereal. If you're the randomly selected winner, you and all your classmates will start the summer in USA Kids Club style. USA's Hudson and Scratch will be there to help you play your favorite discs. Plus, you and your classmates will receive an awesome party pack from Honeycomb and USA Kids Club. Your chance to win? Keep watching Cartoon Express for the USA Kids Club 1-800 number. When it appears, call the number and tell us your favorite song of this school year. So stay tuned to Cartoon Express and the USA Kids Club for your chance to enter and win in the Honeycomb end of the school year jam sweepstakes. Tonight we begin Clean the Hotel Week. And where do you think you're going? I think Clean the Hotel Week. <laughs> Look at this filthy cold. Where is that lazy shade? Where is shade? <laughs> Is 
that lazy shade. I'm going to hang him out to dry. We're back with more... Wow! Mighty Cool Tunes! Pie. We plundered the whole Mushroom Kingdom to get you the best gifts a Cooper could steal. It's not enough! I know you're a teensy bit upset, Cootie Pie. <coughs> Just tell King Daddyums what you'd really like for your birthday. America. But, Sweetums, America's in the real world. Baby cakes, anything you say. After all, you are turning sweet 16. It sure is nice not to worry about the Koopas for a while. Yeah, when King Koopa gives his kids a birthday party, they stay Koopa'd up in Koopa Castle all day. Oh no! It's King Koopa's doom ship! <laughs> I'll see if I can stall them while you guys run! <gasps> Yeah! You're just Princess Toadstool of the Measly Mushroom Kingdom. I am going to be Empress of America. <laughs> you really know how to make a daddy proud. Take him to my dungeon. Our poor home country. We can't even tell him the Koopas are coming. President is inside. Sledge Brothers, walk the White House away to Castle Cooper. Attention, America! Your new ruler, Empress Cootie Pie, has called her first press conference. Read them your new laws, babykins. Law number one. Every kid in America must give me their toys. Any handsome boy who does not ask me for a date will be turned into a rock. All the gold in Fort Knox will be melted down to make me a lifetime supply of charm bracelets. Yay, cootie pie! Recite after me, America. I pledge allegiance to cootie pie and to the repulsiveness for which she stands. Look, Luigi, there in the White House. That's the President of the United States. If we don't get him and the White House back to the real world, Cootie Pie will ruin America. How can we help America when we can't even help ourselves? They've got us triple guarded. Leave it to me, Luigi. Hey, that guy in the funny helmet told me his boomerang was more powerful than your fireball. He said what? So go ahead. Let him call you a wimp. Yikes! Are you going to let him do that to you? Ouch. You're not going to let him get away with that, are you? Quick, hold up your chains. You mean these things? Get over here, right into the crossfire. Attention, Koopa Clan! Your sweet sister, Cootie Pie, has finally found a birthday present that makes her happy. Give the brrrr out of country, and she finally stops nagging! I'm gonna keep her happy. I'll put America's ruler where he'll never be rescued. At the bottom of the Mushroom Sea. <laughs> Can't swim. Hurry, Mario! 
Once the White House hits bottom, America is sunk! Ribbit! I know the president will recommend you to all our friends. Mario! My goodness, what's going on? Cooper's loading up the doom ship for an attack on London, Paris, and Yeesh, Brooklyn. You and Luigi are the only ones who can stop the real world from becoming Koopa's world. Are you sure these disguises will let us sneak aboard Koopa's tomb ship? Positive. <laughs> You're my own brother, and even I don't recognize you. <laughs> Putting on a little weight, aren't you, Mario? Oh! Wow. oh. Stowaways aboard! Stowaways! Whoa! <laughs> 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 Battleship in the air! First, I'll warp the White House back where it belongs. Whoops! Mario! Oh, Mario! I hate to complain, Mario, but my husband can't run the country under the Conditions. Don't worry, Mrs. President. Next time, I'll put the White House right where it belongs. <laughs> Maybe I should have read the instructions. <laughs> Not even boss of America anymore. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Get up here. You're going back to the Mushroom Kingdom. I hate it when people tell me what to do. I hate it. I hate it. I'll tell my daddy on you. Don't forget to tell him about this. <laughs> Nice landing, Mario. Yeah, 
be a long time before Koopa can warp anything else out of the real world. Oh, no! My doom ship! Ruined! It's all your fault! You let the Mario Brothers capture it! You let them warp me home! You let them save America! If you don't stop that whining right now... But Daddy Kid... Go clean your room! Are you telling moi what to do? And you better do it! Stop pinching your little brothers! Don't be afraid! Turn down your stereo! Well, <laughs> sounds like Coop is finally giving Cootie Pie the present she desires. Pick up your socks! Close the door! Get off the telephone! Drink. So much fun, kids can't wait to get their hands on it. Hey. <laughs> That's because you don't just drink a squeeze it, you just squeeze a squeeze it. Squeeze it in fruity flavors like Smarty Arty Orange and Berry Be Wild. Go ahead, squeeze the fun out of it. Chicago, Illinois want to know, what do you think is the biggest problem in the world today and what can we do about it? I think the biggest problem in our country today is drug abuse because it's ruining so many lives and killing so many people that it just got to be stopped. I think the way to solve it is, you know, have the kids tell the kids not to do drugs and I think you start with the kids because their minds are more fresh and they're more ready to listen. I think the biggest problem in the world is probably drugs. I think kids should say no to drugs because it'll help their future and help make a better world. I think the biggest problem in the United States is child abuse and drugs. Helping that person as much as you can. Like, there's lines you can call, you can just sit down and talk to them, try to comfort them in any way, or like put on shows like I do. Just any way you can help them, do it. Up, you hit someone. Yeah, if it doesn't, you gotta run. Scramble! Hit someone, get a wristband. If they dodge or catch the ball, give them one of yours. First with six bands wins. Scramble is the hot new game. Playing ball won't be the same. Scramble, scramble, yeah. Scramble, scramble. I'm Marla Gibbs. And you're watching USA. The remote stops here for original movies. All aboard the Cartoon Express, the USA Cartoon Express. Traveling east and heading west, it's a great big call at Cartoon Fest. I'm Hudson here, if you're waiting to me. It's time for cartoons, right now, right here. Where Tommy helps keep things right on track. On board for the daily world, and the most cartoony kind of world. Action, adventure, and all the rest on the USA Cartoon Express.
I uh, love clowns uh, because they wear their pajamas to work. If I <clears throat> was old enough to vote, and I am, uh, I would vote for clowns to be the presidents of every city and state. And in con- cl- clunk, to stop, I tell you one more thing. A clown has a sad face, but he makes me happy. Goodbye. Thank you, Murph. That was very nice. Don't thank me. My mom wrote it. Let's see, uh, Junior. Go for it. <coughs> Why I hate clowns. <gasps> I hate clowns for a lot of reasons. Their jokes aren't funny. They have balloon breath. Their white makeup can often hide the face of a killer. But mostly, I hate them because of something that happened to me when I was two years old. I was playing in the park, minding my own business. Watch it, you clown! <laughs> Whoopsie! Yeah, kid. Bow! Bow for us! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Give me that weenie! I got your litter bug right here, lady. Oh, oh please! This has gone far enough. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! 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 Big Clown, sir. Has anyone told you your nose looks like a monkey's rump? <laughs> that day, I learned a very important lesson in life. Clowns stink! Thank you. Oh, well... I, uh... Nice hatchet job, Junior. Why didn't you just say that clowns cause natural disasters? <laughs> I knew I left something out. Well, uh, thank you, Junior, for that uh, different perspective. But perhaps today's special guest will convince you that all clowns aren't bad. Oh, no. Come on, everybody. Let's put our hands together for Jingo the Clown. <laughs> with a rubber chicken. Is this the little tyke who doesn't like clowns? Maybe we can show you just how much fun clowns can be. Okay? You need to clean out your ears. <gasps> well, excuse me. <laughs> this always cracks me up. <laughs> How do you like your hair? Scrambled? Over easy. <laughs> Better rinse. <laughs> Do you still hate clowns? Yes. Oh, and I thought changing your mind would be as easy as pie. I love you, man. Oh, I love you, too.
Maybe I couldn't get you to laugh, but you're a good spark, Junior. Had some candy. Listen, clown. You can shove that candy right back up your little nose and beep it. <laughs> Never been so embarrassed. Well, what about that time you gave your book report with your pants undone? Oh yeah. Well, at least it's over. Huh? Wanna bet? Hey! Look out! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Guess who? Look, Jingo. If this is about that whole shove it up your nose thing, you got me all wrong, little fella. I'm not mad. I just want to prove to you that clowns are your friends. Yes, they are. Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. But I've got to. It's become my mission in life. Wherever you go, whatever you do. I'll be there until you laugh at me. <laughs> See you around like a donut. <laughs> Junior, what happened? Are you okay? Perfect, except that I'm being stalked by an insane clown. We'll be back for more. Wow, cool tunage! Fundamentals may look like a little snack on the outside, but in the middle there's filling. It's got a giant chocolate taste, so mammoth and huge. You'll be licking your face. The flavor's so big and colorful, like a blimp of hot air. It boggles the mind how we got it in there. One bite and you'll find that your taste buds will shout. Not that big tasting middle to knock you right out. Fun the middles, the snack that's not little because of the big taste in the middle. Here's the ring. Here's the ring. Ring pop. You can wear a ring around your finger. Ring pop. I love the way a ring looks. I love the way my ring tastes. Ring pop. Hey, it's a juicy jewel of flavor. Ring pop. Will you wear my ring? Ring pop. Ring pop. It's a lollipop without a stick. Ring the flavor you can lick. And tart and sour blue raspberry too. So now you can get off the stick and get a ring. Ring pop. Hey, Sonny, we found someone who won't go cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. It's a chocolate volcano. And nothing can wake him up. He's been sleeping for years. Oh, but one taste of a complete breakfast with my chocolatey tasting Cocoa Pops. What a shake things up. Mmm. <laughs> it's going. Yeah. Going. Yeah. Now you can get two Cuckoo Bird cookies splashed with chocolatey fudge, free in marked boxes of Cocoa Puffs. The chocolatey taste you go! Cuckoo for! Are you tough enough to handle Tonka Zoo Chainsaw Steel Monster? You better be, because here it comes. Rev it up! It's big and mean, and the harder you rev it... Release the beast! The more monstrous the power! This monster's as tough as you are. Climbing, racing, jumping, wheelie popping. This monster lets him know you're coming with a fierce chainsaw buzzing sound. Chainsaw! Ferocious! Tonka Tom! Tonka's Chainsaw Steel Monster eats sold separately. Are you tough enough to handle the monster? Yeah. Treasure Rocks! Have a sparkling treasure inside! Put Treasure Rocks in the magic revealer and in about a minute you turn rocks into jewels! Wow. What kind of jewels did you get? Then you can make whole sets of glittering jewelry! Treasure Rocks! Got more treasure rock. Let's do the rest. Treasure rock. Have a sparkling treasure inside. Treasure rock's jewelry set each come with 12 rocks. Each sold separately. Hey, open up. I want that white thing. White water zest. Successfully clean. Yo, Dad! The deodorant bar that rinses cleaner so your skin feels smoother. Uh, I know what you want. Soap leaves a film you can feel on your skin, but Zest rinses cleaner than soap, so your skin feels smoother than soap. Feel smooth. White water Zest. You're not fully clean unless you're Zest fully clean. Smooth. We're back with more cool tunage. Junior, what happened? Are you okay? 
perfect. Except that I'm being stalked by an insane clown. Dad, I need to talk to you for a second. I uh, can't wait, son. I'm sort of busy right now. Your grandpa's told me to bake the world's largest pie. Yeah. So how big is it gonna be? Twenty-five feet across.、Uh, that should be big enough to get Tow Valley in the record books.、Uh, maybe bring in some tourists. Dad,、uh, what kind of oven takes a twenty-five-foot pie? Mrs. Finster said we could set her garage on fire again. Dad, just tell me one thing. What do I do if I'm being stalked everywhere I go by an ugly, hideous, deranged old clown? Simple. Just say. Grandpa, leave me alone. Great, thank you very little. Yoji, I'm not gonna let Jingo get to me. No clown's gonna make me change my life. How do I look? See you later. I got it all figured out. We sneak into Theater Seven to see the dinosaur bite that guy's head off. Then we go to Theater Twelve and watch till the car blows up, drives off the cliff, and gets hit by the train. Cool. Then we can catch the end of that baby cartoon feature in case our folks ask us about it. May I help you? Yeah, I want some popcorn, please. Why, certainly. Here you go. Ah! Butter. <laughs> Well, left. I can take it up forever. Go ahead, Jingo. Take your best shot. Tapioca, tapioca, tapioca. Young man, you'll have to、oh. wait your turn. It's time I show this clown who's boss. Empty ticket. Empty ticket. <laughs> I can't believe it. That was a clown classic. Mom, can I go to the doctor now and get some shots, please? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's nothing worse than a sad clown. Here, have a balloon. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, Dad, 
I took care of my disgusting little clown problem. Good for you, Junior. I knew you could handle it. And I've almost got my pie dough rolled out, too. Great, Dad. Like I care. Here we are, son, the only dentist in town who's open on a Saturday afternoon. Excuse me, miss, uh, we've never been here before, but my son broke his tooth and I have to put my pie in the oven in ten minutes. So, I'll be right back. And, Junior, you'll be okay. So, thanks, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye! Well, well, who have we here? Junior Healy. What are you doing? You look like you need an extraction. A brain extraction. Ah! <laughs> what are you going to do? Calm down, lad. I'm only going to check your teeth. Ooh, that's a nasty one. Looks like I'll have to drill it out down to the root. <laughs> After what you did to me at that party, dream on. Besides, I waited years to get you in a position like this. Say, ah! And open that disgusting yap of yours! Don't you recognize me? Of <laughs> course you don't. We met in the park, remember? <laughs> That's better. I will need one of these, one of these, and a saliva ejector. Better have this, and let's stow this in just for the heck of it. Ooh, crowded in here. Good, good. Don't bother holding still, because I want this to hurt a lot! Huh? What? what? How did you find me? Oh, hang on. What did you say? I just asked how you found me after all this time. Oh, it wasn't easy. I've tormented thousands of kids looking for you. Ah! Now then, let's do some damage. Now what? Just a second. What is it this time? I just asked when you found time to become a dentist. <laughs> what makes you think I'm a real dentist? Ah! Over the lips and through the gums. Look out, nerve endings. Here it comes. Hello. Oh, for the love. What? 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 Nothing. All right, then. Hey, clown, that's my patient. Stand back. I've got a drill, and I'm confused. I've handled plenty of gorillas like you back in dental school. Watch him, Doc. That clown's tricky. Here, clown. Eat cotton. I, 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 I can't see. So help me. I had a Oh, why are you... Forget him, Jingo. It's me you want. Hey, kid, you forgot to rinse out and spit. <laughs> Make way! Come back here, you weasel! <laughs> mm. Smells great. Thank <laughs> you.
Take it. I'm through clowning around. Too bad. Cause here's your chance to be the first. Clown in space. Okay, now calm down, everybody. Calm down. If I can't get an accurate measurement, the record book won't accept us. It's exactly. What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Junior. Thanks to this, this clown, we just lost our chance at a new world's record for biggest pie. But look, we just set a new world's record for the biggest pie in the face gag. <laughs> <laughs> See that? You can take the clown out of the pie, but you can't take the pie out of the clown. Hold on, everybody! Whoa! Hot track of late. And hurry back for more cool tunes. Introducing Magic Works. No fail magic you can master in minutes. This, my friends, is clean cut. I will magically cut a solid piece of rope and put it back together. Give me that. It's real. Watch closely. I place the rope into this magical holder. Cut. It's cut. And magically restore it like new. Wow! That's unbelievable. That's impossible. That's right. It's magic. Clean cut. One of the many tricks you can collect in the world of Magic Works. Can't get enough of that golden crisp. Oh, Sugar Bear's after my golden crisp cereal again. Granny Good Witch time, switch time. You won't get me in ancient Egypt. Tut tut, Granny. What you looking for? Sugar Bear. Why don't you go for a spin? That Granny's always pulling something, but nothing comes between my tummy and the honey sweet crunch of golden crisp. Guess that about wraps it up. It's part of a complete breakfast. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. You know, people who start chewing Freedent because it won't stick to most dental work keep chewing it because it tastes great. That's why they stick with the gum that won't. Non-stick Freedent, the perfect gum for almost perfect teeth. Here's my science project! Childhood is a time of discovery. A time to develop a strong self-identity. It's a nightmare. And a time to test new skills. Fire laser. Nobody has caused the amount of destruction Junior has. Stop! John Ritter, <laughs> Lorraine Newman, and Gilbert Godfrey. Ah! Problem Child 2, a USA movie special. Tomorrow at 3. Now the fridge doesn't work. Quasi, you'll fix it, won't you, Quasi? This mini Megaton atomic motor will make my wheels the fastest in town. You bet. Scully Rex, upstairs and do your chores now. I need a motor to fix the fridge. Wow, a Mark 7 mini Megaton. Quasi must have switched on the fridge. <laughs> he looks like an ice cube. We're back with more... Wow! Mighty Cool Tunes! Problem job!
So you want me to hypnotize you, hmm? For years I've wanted tricks. A fruity part of this complete breakfast. And no one would share a bowl. So maybe I can get over my desire through hypnosis. You are getting sleepy. Look at his eye. Rabbit. That foodalicious flavor has no effect on him. Now repeat after me. Tricks are for kids. Tricks are for kids. Is this the end of the tricks, Rabbit? Is he cured of his fruity tricks cravings? Is he really hypnotized? Just look for the swirling hypnotized eyes on boxes of tricks and stay tuned for more fun. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Did you know that actors sometimes practice with tongue twisters before they audition? Do you know any tongue twisters that can totally twist your tongue? Fuzzy wuzzy, had no hair. Fuzzy wuzzy. Peachy witchy, peachy witchy, peachy witchy, peachy witchy, peachy witchy, peachy witchy, peachy witchy. Thin stick, stick bricks. Thin stick, stick bricks. Thin stick, stick bricks. Thin stick, stick bricks. Fuzzy wuzzy, was a bear. Fuzzy wuzzy, had no hair. Fuzzy wuzzy. What's worse than a witch without a wart? 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 Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy Wuzzy. Who's that girl with the cool hair? Cool Crim Skipper! We're crimping her hair like a cool teen would cause we're going to the mall and we gotta look good. Let's crimp again. Barrette's so cool, we're gonna meet our friends after school. Crimp it in. Brush it out. Cool Crimp Skipper, you're what cool is all about. Cool Crimp Skipper and Courtney dolls have special hair you can crimp. All dolls sold separately. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Yeah. For a new twist on an old favorite, the Itsy Bitsy Spider on USA. Fridays at 6, 5 Central. <laughs> Let's go. And this one should bring a pretty penny. Or make great snake food. <laughs> Abraham's Pet Boutique. Where have I seen that? Wait a minute.
food and water is to remain in your bowls until consumed. Anyone who spills their food or water spends a night in the bath. There is to be no excessive whining. Anyone caught whining spends a night in the house. Obey these rules, keep your noses clean, and the time will pass quickly. But dare to cross me, and you will suffer the consequences by spending a night in the box. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> yeah. She is one thick puppy. Oh, a customer. Now shape up. Uh-oh. May I help you? Uh, yeah. I'm looking for a puppy. Well, then you've come to the right place. We have a special today. Oh, yes, yeah, so I see. Very good. I'll take one. Excuse me, sir. Did you know your shoe was untied? <gasps> oh, thank you. Oh, as I was saying, I'll just pay... Huh? It's a very cheap price, don't you think? Quite the little bargain today. Yeah, I, I guess it is a, a bargain. I'll, I'll pay... Hey, isn't that Sharon Stone over there? Oh, check that outfit out she's got on. What? Where? Oh, sorry, I'm mistake. Now, will that be cash, check, or charge? Hey, there's something fishy going on here. Goodbye. <laughs> Tight wad. As clearly stated in Mall Security Handbook, Code 642, there shall at no time occur any unnecessary disturbance of said interior area which may interfere with the integrity, design, or structure of the retail practices offered by the merchants therein. Got it? Really brought it, mister. Bingo. That's it. Head for the hills, you little scamps. Hold it. Any persons entering mall grounds shall abandon all commercial or private vehicles used in the transportation of said persons to the premises. Huh? Lose the bike. Tell me again. What do you think of me, my dear? No, Muggsy. Don't do it. Don't talk, Muggsy. Adrian is the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, no. He talked. He talked. And he lied. Well said. <laughs> You're not such a bird brain, after all. <laughs> the Lamp Emporium. The Organ Either. Total Recliners. Adrian's Pet Boutique. Ah. Good for nothing. Pain in the fur shedding, squeaking, squawking, yapping. <laughs> I feed them, bathe them, clean up after them, give them love, and what do I get in return? Nothing. Oof. Except for my Langston. That is, he's special. Overhead anti-precipitation layer, secure. South-southwest B entry perimeter, secure. Subterranean temporary vehicle storage facility, secure. What do we have here? Looks like trouble to me. Why, you ungrateful beasts! 
That does it. I'm cutting all your rations in half. But tripling your prices. <laughs> we'll see if you little cretins get out of here anytime soon. <laughs> We gotta get you out of here. South American Spitting Spider, 1999. Welcome, welcome to Adrian's Pet Boutique, the second happiest place on Earth. How can I help you, dear child? I'd like to buy the spider. The South American Spitting Spider. But of course. Hmm. A rather unorthodox choice for such a sweet little girl. Oh, but even filthy, repulsive, venomous vermin need love. And you're in luck. He's on sale today. Only $39.95. Hey, that sign said $19.99. Make me an offer. Um, how about 74 cents? Shove off. You, you, shoplifter, bandit, thief! Thief! Freeze. How's that for a dramatic entrance? Reach for the sky, turkeys. Okay. Which one of you pesterly patrons is the thief? Right there. She stole my rare one-of-a-kind $500 spider. The biker. It all makes sense now. Name? Leslie. Occupation? Great school student. Hmm. A likely story. In the spring of 1963, were you anywhere near Dallas? I wasn't born yet. You fifth graders are always quick with the excuses, aren't you? Huh. What a drink. Hmm. This one looks like a problem case. You'd better come clean, Missy. You can start by giving back my priceless spider. I don't have it. I want it back! <whistles> no, I'm wrong. There he is. Oh, no, 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 get him away from there. <gasps> I'll get him. Leave him to me. Yeah. Uh-oh. Get away! Get away! Oh, no! Flavor squeeze. 
Just an Easy. airy little bunny. That's why those very, very cakes so very nice. Very, very cakes is a part of this good breakfast. Can I try some? With the very berries everybody wants. The very berries they so very nice. Hey. They've got cash. Josh. They've got cars. Sam. They've got food. <laughs> But there's only one thing that can stop them. The seventh grade. Join Josh and Sam on a road trip you'll never forget. See, Mom, this is what happens when you drink while you're pregnant. Josh and Sam. Rated PG-13. At theaters Wednesday. Everybody knows why kids drink milk. We like the taste. It's fun. But secretly, kids are drinking milk because it helps us grow bigger. Imagine us all in big, cool bodies, doing big, cool things, wearing big, cool clothes. Imagine us staying up late. Imagine us driving cars. Everybody knows why kids drink milk. We like the taste, right? Sure we do. But milk does help us get bigger. Imagine us in charge. These children are reading the Bible and really enjoying it. That's because someone has finally published a version of the Bible that's easy to understand and fun to read. It's called the Picture Bible, a marvelous new idea from the David C. Cook Publishing Company. The Picture Bible actually gives readers an immediate overview and grasp of the whole Bible. The stories are chronologically sequenced, and all of the chapters are keyed to their corresponding scripture passages. You can order this attractive hardbound volume for $16.95, and it comes to you with a full money-back guarantee. Imagine sharing the wealth of the Bible with your entire family for the remarkably low price of $16.95. Here's how to order yours right now. Have your credit card ready. To order, call toll-free 1-800-848-9000, or send $16.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to The Picture Bible, P.O. Box 4200, Omaha, Nebraska. In a minute. How'd you like to get your hands on some dinosaurs? Hi, I'm CJ Luxon at Clifton, New Jersey. My hobby, building dinoramas. Most of the time I buy like just cheap like toy dinosaurs, like regular ordinary dinosaurs. And uh, we mold them, you know, cut them up and turn them into like good looking dinosaurs like museum quality. Instead of buying stuff, you make it. And it's, it's cheaper and it's better. It looks better and you can say, like to somebody, ooh, where'd you get that? I made it, you know, and you feel good. And they say, oh, really? Could you make me one and everything? And well, dinosaurs, they were like real. They were, they were like monsters, but they were real and they ruled the earth. The fun part is they don't bite. <laughs> Just exactly what does it taste like? Oh. New Taco Ranch Salad Dressing. Care to comment on the flavor? And new Nacho Cheese Ranch. Can you describe its taste? What <laughs> new flavors that will blow your mind? New Hidden Valley. Maurice T and Leslie and all the rest on the USA Cartoon Express. You won't get away from me that easily. <laughs>
that lovely, the girl from Ipanema goes walking and as she, she passes, passes each one she passes goes. Thank you, thank you so much. Hello, hello. Thank you. You are beautiful. can't find you a good home. I'm sorry, ma'am, but there is a standard waiting period before you may purchase any firearms. I'll take them all. And don't forget that Uzi 9mm. We take American Express. We got your nighties, your hosieries, and many other unmentionables, which I love to mention. Well, it be. Here's Johnny. Calculations off. Try again. Ten degrees more southwest should do it. Trajectory off. Didn't account for 1.3 mile per hour crosswind. Once more. Come here, you little mall menace. Pardon me. Excuse me, ma'am. Step aside. No panic. All security. Will you get out of here? So now you know my secret. Oh, yeah. Definitely you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Okay, make coffee, serve coffee, serve customers. First rule, always smile and say hello. Gotta make more coffee now. Hurry, hurry. Have to keep up, gotta do it. Beans in, beans in, beans in. Okay, on switch, on. Okay, brew, brew, make coffee, hurry. Can't forget the Al Pacino. Telegram from Juan Valdez. Out. Good luck, Itsy. Pull. <laughs> he, Itsy, is in the house. <laughs> You're all mine, you little... Uh-uh. Mine. Mine. I'm finishing it. Now, wait a minute. There's enough for both of us. One, 
two... Eighteen! Eighteen? Yes, eighteen! Mr. Cheever, sir! Nine counts of vandalism and nine counts of violence. Eighteen! What is the meaning of this? You never fire a gun around customers. You're supposed to serve and protect. But, but, but nothing. You're fired. No longer a security guard. Turn in your flashlight. And? Now then, Leslie. Let's file that merchant complaint of yours, shall we? Good night, folks. Right there. Oh, dears. No. What are we going to do now? No more animals. No more money. How are we supposed to pay the rent? <laughs> <laughs> Long and tan and young and lovely, the girl from Infantima goes walking, and as she passes, she passes, she passes, she passes. Thank you so much. How about this guy? Is he a nut? <laughs> we'll be back for more. Wow! Itsy Bitsy Spider. <laughs> Happy Pups. Ooh! Who has Splash Happy Pups for All you? Clean. The clean and pretty up band shampoo. Oh. The littlest pet shop. That's who. You'll love their tub and vanity. And they're a prize winning pups too. Who has prize winning puppy too? <laughs> they can walk and dress up too. <laughs> oh. The littlest pet shop. That's who. You all win! Splash Happy Pups and prize winning pups each sold separately. You know, he is one buff mouse. And by the way, here he comes to save the day. Mighty Mouse on the USA Cartoon Express. Time to head on home. Set that to his son. As soon as my fruit by the foot is done. So he started to eat it, don't you know? Hours later. Still not ready to go. See what fruit by the foot, the fun just laughed and laughed. So he kept eating and, and the, the time, time just passed. Until one day when it began to snow. He looked around and said, Okay, now we can go. Fruit by the foot. Long on fun. Flashback. Yokozuna steals the WWF championship from Bret Hitman Hart when Mr. Fuji blinds him with salt. He rubs salt my wounds once, but no spice can hurt me twice. Now the Hitman and Yokozuna face off for the championship in the WWF Survivor Series Showdown. I'll show you how to season that turkey. Hey. It's a rematch for revenge. We hear the Hitman's training on a low-salt diet. <laughs> Don't miss the WWF Survivor Series Showdown. Only on USA, tonight at 7. The guest's bag's here until his new room is ready. I just ordered these great new suitcases for my vacation, and they're already here. Why, fast delivery. I'll put them over here. I'll pick it over there. Where's my bags? I am taking these to my room for safekeeping. Delivery! What's going on here? You're our only guest, and I assure you, no one would steal your clothes. They threw in the clothes with my new luggage. With Itsy Bitsy Spider. Hey, kid, 
Tune in for more big time adventures with the Itsy Bitsy Spider Friday at 6. Now, get ready for another little bugger who can always out. Because many places in the world come with crowbars as standard equipment, the new Volkswagen Jetta comes with an anti-theft alarm system as standard equipment, too. This week, the case of a troubled youth. It started with one innocent weekend call. The next thing Joe Guthrie knew, he couldn't stop dialing. College friends, high school buddies. It got so bad, he even called his parents. His crime? Joe didn't take advantage of Sprint's new offer to split the cost of his calls all weekend long. If you know Joe or anyone like him, call now and turn them in. Trust me, they'll thank you for it later. Gas, when bloating, pain, and pressure tie you in knots. Don't make the antacid mistake. Take this little pill instead. Maximum Strength Phazine. There's more gas relief in one Phazine soft gel than in a whole bottle of regular Maalox. All this Maalox can't get rid of gas, but with the liquid medicine in just one Phazine, the gas is gone. Take Phazine, and the gas is gone. You're watching Duckman on USA. Oh, so it's my fault. I didn't say that. Well, then what do you say? You don't listen. You never change. The new Volkswagen Jetta has an adaptive automatic transmission. It senses the way you drive and adjusts to fit your personality. Maybe you are. Maybe I'm not. It's a shame we only make cars. Larry's back. All we need is a top contender to get in the ring and beat me up. And itching for a fight. Then we know it's time for Larry Holmes to get out of the ring. Holmes is the main event when Budweiser presents USA Tuesday Night Fights. Tuesday. The head of an erotic empire takes a fatal plunge. A bevy of beautiful suspects. Everybody hated him. Could drive Chris off the deep end. Silk Stockings, an all-new episode only on USA. Monday night at 10. Their cries brought her to Romania. We're not just adopting a child, we're saving a life. Anne Margaret, Nobody's Children, from USA Pictures, tomorrow night at 8.